How's everybody doing? Okay, so now that 381 is finished, I just wanted to do a little short clip on some scenery work. Now I've moved to the middle of the layout, and as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to have a stand of trees in here. And what I've done, first of all, is I've used the uh, Woodland Scenics Static Grass Applicator. Uh, it's For those of you that aren't familiar with it, it's this right here. Uh, it's okay, like as long as the battery's fresh, it works really well, but if the, once the battery gets about halfway down, uh, it doesn't work very well. And I didn't bother buying the transformer because I don't use it that much. But um, yeah, it does a pretty good job. And as you can see, I taped off the other track as well too, because you don't want to get this stuff if the glue, the, like 50-50 water glue mixture works good, because you need water in the glue for the uh, flip. For the, for the static applicator foot when the legs go into the the glue it uh, sort of causes static electricity whoops sorry uh, in the pool of water and causes all the grass to stand up as you move the applicator across so yeah getting that right and if the glue gets into the track and these longer fibers get up tight against the track they can be a real problem more than you know it's because I had an issue like that down here in front of this building. I had to go over it quite a bit to clean that up because of the it's it's almost like feels like grit under the wheels of the car and it, and yet nothing shows. It's just a real real bear to clean up. Anyway, so yeah, so this is this sort of 12 mil uh, static grass it's as long as it comes in. And there's going to be a stand of trees in there. And what I did was is I made a bunch of trees up. Um, they're similar to the ones that Luke Toen does. Uh, if you go to his site, he does a fantastic job. Uh, they're similar to his, except I wound these with wire strip and loops. But if you look on YouTube, you'll see how these are made. Um, and so they basically were a wooden dowel with a wire wrap around them with strands coming out of them. And then I... Uh, spray glued with 3m i put 12 mil static grass on and then i did a, an, another spray and put 7 mil sprinkled on and then you know you spin them so the the fronds sort of sp splay out and then i painted the whole tree sort of coffee brown and uh and then let that dry and then i did two more applications with glue i did uh, uh was it uh, yeah uh, four mil and then two mil of just various greens and they turn out pretty good for generic uh, evergreens so there's going to be a stand of trees in here uh, I've got seven of them so I'm pretty happy with those so far and I'll probably do a couple of uh, cedars maybe a, a couple feature cedars maybe down the far end so yeah I'm pretty happy with that so that should be filled in and then I'll probably have the the uh, cell tower because I don't really want to lose the cell tower I want to keep it I like the the contrast uh, that this has there with the vertical uprights here and the color the white up against the green in parallel with the trees I think it'll look pretty good so yeah I'm really happy with that so far just moving right along and then once I get the trees in here then I'm going to move down and I'm going to go over uh, the grain elevator uh, there's some details that I want to do there um, around the building and set up that windlass style there on the side of the track and then after the grain elevator is done I think I'm going to stick with that building down there it makes for a good sort of way freight station or whatever or even can double as an engine shed sort of local engine shed and that maybe a few trees down on the far end there to sort of tie that all in and yeah we're getting close and then I also have some other railroad GAC that will go on that intersection there and then some fine details like signs and and possibly a backdrop by the road I said I didn't want to use a backdrop but I, I might try something with the road where it runs into the backdrop there we'll see how that goes though but anyway thanks for watching